we're here because we feel the burn. Ah, Danny DeVito stumping for socialist Senator Bernie Sanders. Why doesn't he just turn over all his money in Brooklyn? in what the campaign calls its biggest rally yet. You know, I mean, the government can take 90% of what Danny DeVito earns. Anyway, all those people there totaled about 28,000. 28,000 came out for Bernie Sanders. And uh, if that's actually accurate, that's what's been reported, that would actually be far and above anything that Hillary Clinton has seen so far in this race. Meanwhile, you get these Bernie fans uh, that are getting a big shout out from Clinton supporter George Clooney, despite holding a ritzy fundraiser in L.A. Saturday night, costing over $350,000 per couple. George Clooney praised Bernie supporters for crashing this event and hurling $1 bills at Hillary Clinton's motorcade to protest big money in politics. You can see it there, money all over the street. You know, believe it or not, George Clooney, of all people, says he agrees with them. You know, we had some protesters last night when we, uh, when we pulled up in San Francisco, and they're right to protest. They're absolutely right. It is an obscene amount of money. The Sanders campaign, when they talk about it, is absolutely right. It's ridiculous that we should have this kind of money in politics. I agree. Really? Ridiculous? I mean, so much for charging $350,000 per couple. That's how ridiculous it is. All right, back with reaction. Leslie Marshall and Brad Blakeman. You know, Brad, I just love the hypocrisy of Hollywood sometimes. Uh, you know, there he is on one side of his mouth saying, we got to get big money out of politics. On the other side, you know, he's throwing a big dinner for Hillary Clinton and charging 300 plus grand a couple. Um, but isn't this in part the frustration people have all together with politics, politicians and the establishment? Yeah, politicians on both sides do as I say, not as I do. But nobody does it better than Hillary Clinton. Where, has she been fighting for campaign finance reform? Absolutely not. Uh, what she has been fighting for was, was big dollar donors like George Clooney and other Hollywood elites who, from the walls of their mansion, uh, raise tons and tons of money for Hillary and then come outside and say, well, you know, it's a real shame that we have to do this. Yeah. They like access. They like power. And they'll continue to do it until the rules change. Um, 28,000 people. I mean, Leslie, these crowds are phenomenal. It was also a New York event. Uh, he had the New York event last week, which had 27, 28,000 people. I mean, maybe they're the same 20 some odd thousand people that just keep going. But why is it that he's able to um, generate this kind of enthusiasm, this kind of support? I mean, a guy who wants to take their entire paychecks. <laughs> Well, first of all, because he wants to give them a lot of things. He's promising a lot of things. Of course, we've talked about before. Can he deliver on those promises? Uh, that's a problem that I and others like uh, Hillary Clinton have. But, you know, one thing you're going to laugh, Trish, on my radio show, I asked people because, you know, not everyone listening is a progressive liberal Democrat. But we have a split, obviously, Hillary and Bernie people among the Democrats. And I will say to New Yorkers calling uh, before the uh, vote tomorrow, uh, mm -hmm. how come, you know, we don't see the numbers out for Hillary? And a number of them will say, because we have jobs and we're working. We don't have the time ah, like some of these millennials that I are believe following that. Bernie in school to yeah. come out and support them. And actually, I, I think that. it's a valid point. You know, it, it is a valid point, And it's a scary point, Leslie, because what it tells you is that the people don't have any the people that don't have anything that really don't have anything to lose, that have nothing at stake. They're the ones that want to see this guy elected who would then go in turn and take from everyone else that actually is working for a living and give it back to these people who just want to be lazy bums. Excuse my French, but you know, that's effectively what socialism is doing here. I mean, this is an economic system that frankly, Brad, is very foreign to Americans as it should be. It is not part of our values. It's not part of our culture. What is it that people that are supporting Bernie Sanders are missing? They're missing the, the drive that built this country. If it's free, it ain't worth it. And by the way, you have to get up in the morning and feel good about yourself by doing something, not being a dependent on government. You know, the poor in America, Republicans see as victims of a failed system. Democrats see them as constituents. They build a cradle to grave society where society is dependent on them. And guess what? Therefore, their vote is dependent on them yes, continuing to get support. Victimization politics, that's what it yep. all is. And I got to say that Bernie's refining it to a level that we haven't seen. Have we ever seen a socialist run for president and get this far, Leslie? 
No. I don't know if we've seen a socialist run for president that admits they're a socialist or a, <laughs> a democratic socialist. But I, but actually, that's a, that's a key difference between Hillary and Bernie. People think that they're so much alike, which is Hillary Clinton definitely believes that the government has its responsibility in its place. But she also understands the benefit economically of capitalism, uh, which we don't say. Trish, can I say one thing about the money hurling because it happened uh, here in my state of mm -hmm. California? Mm -hmm. uh, what, one thing that I, I have to say bothers me um, as so a Democrat. that video again that we can show? Either, you know, people <laughs> hurling dollar bills at Hillary Clinton's vehicle. Go ahead, Leslie. Um, and, and it, you know, every day we hear two things about Senator Sanders' camp. And again, I like him and I will vote for him if he is on that platform for the Democrats. However, he is raising tons of money. And uh, people get upset if one person gives 300 what's the difference of 300 oh, give one? No, no, the no, difference is, is George it. Clooney George Clooney is not part of Wall Street. Mm -hmm. George Clooney is not part of corporate America. And although it, it is an obscene amount of money, this is the game they're playing. Uh, Bernie Sanders has been raising an obscene amount There's of money. There's something authentic, and just perhaps though. from different There's something circles. authentic about it coming from individuals as, a, as opposed to coming from, you know, big, big, big ticket donations. There's something that I think probably contributes to the momentum he's seeing because there are all these little people out there that are saying, wow, we have the power. We can actually accelerate this candidate at a level that nobody anticipated. Anyway, um, Leslie, good to see you. Brad, good to good see to you. See you.